Hi everybody, this is Connie. Sorry about the lighting. Um, I'm just on my webcam and it looks really bad from where I'm sitting. Maybe if I turn it just a little bit more, get that glare out of there, maybe that would help. But I thought I'd come, uh, I told my friend what I was eating for supper and she requested I do a mukbang. So I might as well, I guess, huh? What I'm eating, I'll show you here is ugh, spaghetti and garlic bread and I went over to my mom's today and um, worked all day all afternoon about five hours this afternoon on um, her cutting down her peonies and her irises and she has five huge patches of them so it took me five hours to do them plus I washed a couple loads of clothes over there and stuff too but and so she made spaghetti for lunch because she knows that's one thing that you know we we both love so um, she made spaghetti and I brought home the extra to reheat for supper so and these garlic toast is just a name or not even a name brand a generic brand from our local grocery store and that is Coburn's if any of you have ever heard of it, it used to be Randall's but now it's Coburn's C-O-R-B-O-R-N-S and um, they use Food Club if you've heard of those is their generic you know store brand so that's what this is Mm. Hot. I just put this in the microwave to heat it up. I always think it's good heated up, so I did not bring I've got some napkins here. I do my spaghetti a little different. I don't wind it around my fork. I cut it up because I cannot handle the slurping. I hate the slurping when people do it so much. Anyway, I have a couple things I wanted to talk to you about tonight. Um, first is, you know, working out in the yard and I got up today, you know, I come home and I slept for two hours. That's how bad it was. And woke up and had to go to the bathroom and all that stuff, you know. And I thought, geez, this doesn't feel too bad until I got up. <laughs> Backs of my legs hurt pretty bad. And my lower back hurts pretty bad. So I'm a little worried about sleeping tonight and then getting up tomorrow and going to my first psychologist um, appointment. And that's going to be at least two hours tomorrow. It's scheduled for two hours. There goes my nose. Anyway, um, the psychologist appointment. I don't know if I've talked to you guys about this or not. Let me have another bite. Um, I'm trying to get some help through Voc Rehab, which I don't know how much farther this will go if I get this job this week. I don't know for sure. But one of the requirements and what she wants me to do is go to the psychologist tomorrow for two hours and then next week for at, at a minimum of two hours, which will be testing. And they are going to test me to make sure that it's just um, clinical depression or if maybe I've bipolar, maybe something else. So it's all for testing purposes. Never been to a counselor or a psychologist, so I am nervous as heck. I don't know. I am really nervous about everything. 
So I guess we'll see. I will let you guys know how it went. I saw today was Monday. I still don't know how um, or anything about the job. I do have a second interview at the um, at the as the assistant manager at the truck stop. He did call this morning. I have an interview on Thursday. But if they would call me for the other job, I would uh, not take the the I ninety job. Or the truck stop. So I didn't like slurping here. I'm going to slurp them. <laughs> Buddy's running around. Anyway, that was one thing. The next thing is, I want your opinions, your advice on my hair. Now, it looks really bad now because I've got it back in a ponytail. But this is the way it's been all day. So I've been out in the wind and working and stuff, you know. So it's just kind of coming apart here. But anyway, um, as you age, as most of you ladies know that are closer to my age, your hair changes and it gets a lot drier it um, mine when I wash my hair and I wash my hair about every other day because of the um, if I wash it every day then it starts getting really frizzy and oily which I do not have my hair starts getting oily on the second day so, and I don't normally have oily hair. It's just that second day I can feel it doesn't feel as good as it did the first day. My hair always feels fabulous the first day I wash it. But at, when I'm washing it, there is a straw-like texture to my hair. And as I'm washing it, I can feel that. And I, I have really thick hair, really thick hair. But I lose a lot of hair when I wash my hair. I don't know if that's normal either, but I lose a lot of hair when I wash it. Um, I have to clean the trap every time, and I've always got a bundle of hair. I mean, quite a bit. Anyway, what I need to know is, um, for those of you that are getting to this stage or are at the stage of your hair, if any of you are experiencing that, I don't know. But what do you do to combat that? I had Lulu told me tonight to get a clar good clarifying shampoo. Um, she recommended VO5 Key Lime something. Key Lime, maybe. Um, which is maybe at the dollar store that I could pick up. Wow, that hurt. I just pinched my tongue or my lip. That's weird. So I'm going to do that. But then would you do hair masks? I've never done one. What kind of shampoo do you rec recommend? I don't want volumizing because I don't, my hair is thick enough. I usually go for like a moisturizing or sulfate free for sure because I do color my hair. But I need some help. I, I've let it grow. You know, I had it really short when I started, for those of you that have been with me. Really short. Up over my ears short. And I'm almost thinking of going back to that because of, I don't like the way my hair feels. And I'm getting frustrated because it's just not looking right. My hair is so thick that it just kind of sticks out. And I don't like that. And I don't know how. 
I don't know how to fix my hair. I've never learned how to fix my hair ever with curling iron or curlers. Oh, this is so good. Mm. So many things are so good when you reheat them. And she dumped the rest of the sauce in, so of course there's way more sauce than there is spaghetti. <laughs> this is one of the meals that we eat together that we like. Um... Tuna noodles is another one. I love tuna noodles. I love... I make it once in a while. And all it is is, is noodles and a can of tuna and a can of cream mushroom soup. That's all it is. It's very easy to make. And very strangely, I have raw onion with it. But you find out when you watch me that I like raw onion, so I do eat that a lot. See, if I had any right now, I'd have some. Hmm. Anyway, I've even turned the TV on, and it is 9.17 at night. I'm a little worried about being able to sleep tonight, because I slept for two hours when I got home, so I slept until 7.30 almost. And then I talked to my friends online about our group, Ladies Who Collab. And we have, there's five of us running it now. I, I own it. I started it. Lulu is a huge part of the group. And now we have Amber and Valerie that joined us too. And, a little bug, and Zelma has been doing what she can, but she is just, <gasps> excuse me. When we, Remember I was talking to you about my esophagus the other day? Food is sitting right here. That's why I'm hiccuping, trying to loosen it. I get to eating too fast. So anyway, I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree tomorrow. My mom gave me $20 today, which I didn't want to take. I told her absolutely not because she let me wash a couple loads of clothes there today and stuff. She says, oh, no, you go buy yourself something. So I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree. We have a collab coming up that is um, a $15 haul at the Dollar Tree, so I might as well do it tomorrow while I have the money. See what I can find. i got to look for that shampoo anyway, so... Might as well go see what they have for Thanksgiving, or, um, Thanksgiving Halloween uh, decorations. I like to put little stuff in my windows. You know, I don't don't uh, decorate all out for it. I don't put anything outside or anything because I live right off of Main Street, and and it's just not smart to do that stuff because it gets stolen. So I just put stuff in my window on that, and. Uh, And maybe they've started getting their Christmas stuff out. Hey, bud. Come here. Come here. Let's see if I can talk him into coming up here, but I doubt it. Hey, bud. Come here. Well, come here. Silly boy. Just sit there and look at me. Are you silly boy? He's been running from one room to the next. Got ants in his pants or something. I don't know. What? Come here. Well, come here. Come here. 
laying in his bed. I have a terrible mess right beside me, sorry. Here he is. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey. Well, come here. Come here. Come over here by me. <laughs> He's a sweetie pie, I'll tell you what. Uh, just got this on my lap desk, so it's kind of a pain in the butt. So, anybody see any good movies lately? It's always a good conversation starter, right? Anybody eating with me? Tell me what you're eating. I know a lot of you say they go grab a snack before I do these, so that's really kind of fun. I love that. Makes me want to do them more often. Because I love chatting with you guys. And you guys have all been so positive and so uplifting about this. Thank you so much. I have a lot of stories to tell you guys. Maybe my next one, if I remember, my mom and I talked today, and I'm adopted. But we talked about my real parents and stuff today and, and a few things that happened and stuff right around the time that I was adopted. So, I'd love to tell you about it. I always love, I used to say I love hearing about the olden days. <laughs> Another nap count, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Funny story. Then I was out pulling irises. That was the last thing I had to do today. Yikes. My groin feels like it's about ready to snap in two. <laughs> anyway, I stand and out there. I just stood up. I, I carry a little plastic chair with me because my back gets to hurt me so bad I have to sit down every once in a while just to rest for a couple of minutes I, or else I just can't get, keep going. And I just brought the, the big old garbage can in from um, my mom's got it fenced in in from the alley is right where I was working right by the alley and I just stood up and that garbage can shifted somehow where it um, went down the fence I mean you know the, the lid went sliding down the fence and made a whole bunch of noise and scared the shit out of me and I went to turn and I stepped in a little hole and down I went <laughs> I was really glad nobody saw me. Mom didn't even see me, so I'm really glad. Because <laughs> I'm sure I looked like a, I don't know what, big beached old whale falling up, falling down out in the yard or something. But it just startled me, you know, and I startle pretty easy anyway, but. Why haunted houses probably aren't good for me because I start on way too easy. And my ankle really hurt after that. So I thought, oh, great. Now I've um, sprained my ankle or something, but it didn't hurt very long. And it doesn't hurt at all now, so. But I broke that ankle. Oh, let's see. Six, seven years ago. 
I uh, was working for a blood company, a blood donation company. I was a phlebotomist. And we had trucks that we had to load every day. But we'd go out on, on remote um, places, you know, and go into like little city halls or whatever, churches, whatever, and, and then set up and, and draw blood. Well, we were loading the truck, and I went to shut the, the gate on it, and it was wintertime, and I stepped off of the little curb, and there was a bunch of snow there where the snow removal guys didn't do their job very well, and down I went, and my ankle hurt so bad. So I went to the hot, or went to the doctor, and I had broken it. So, um, I was off work for six weeks there. I liked my job there. It was very hard work, though. Very hard. Um, loading and unloading the truck. Now they have a bus, which I would have loved so much. But I screwed up. It was my fault. They let me go because I forgot a step. And you cannot forget a step when you're a phlebotomist. Um, I was very flustered that day. There, were, I had a lot going on in my life at the time. No excuse. I'm not making excuses for myself. But um, I was very busy. It was a busy blood drive. Busy, busy. And it was like firefighters and all that kind of stuff. And... and not that I was... Our firefighters don't look like the normal good-looking firefighters around here. <laughs> anyway, um, I forgot to scrub somebody's arm. And that could be... That could lead to infection. It could it could not be good. So, you know, I understand, but they didn't even give me a chance. I mean, that one mistake and you're gone. Unfortunately, the one woman in the world that is a veteran at giving blood, so she knew the steps. And she turned me in. So... That happened to that job. No biggie. Well, it was, but... What can you do? Nothing I can do about it. I always feel like I tell you way too much. <laughs> but anyway, I do want, do want um, some advice on the hair. If any of you are experiencing any of these problems and stuff. I still have a little bit of food left, but I think I'm going to put it in there for maybe lunch tomorrow or whatever. I think I'll go to the... I'm kind of out in that area tomorrow, so I think I'll go to the, the Dollar Tree after I'm done with my psychologist. If it doesn't drain me too much, I'm so nervous. It's easy to talk to you guys because you're not really sitting across the table from me. I can pretend like you are, but you're not. I'm basically talking to myself. So talking to him is going to be a little rough, I think. So I guess we will see, and I will talk to you guys very soon. This video has been 25 minutes already, so... I don't like to run them too long. So I will see you guys very soon. Thank you for watching. Thanks for the, the positive comments on this and everything, you know, and telling me to keep doing it and, and stuff like that. Awesome. So, um, I couldn't ask for a bunch of better subscribers. I honestly couldn't. You guys rock. Um, you know, there's a handful of you that post every darn time I, I do a video. And I have to tell you how much I appreciate that. I just, I love it. So anyway, I will talk to you uh, tomorrow. Okay? Bye-bye.